Desert Crown will likely go off favourite for the Epsom Derby after a scintillating display in the Dante Stakes at York. For his breeder, Gary Robinson, the horse represents years of careful planning and hard work. Gary introduces us to Desert Crown's dam, Desert Berry, as well as telling us about his breeding operation, Strawberry Fields. The history of Strawberry Fields was um, from when my old partner, Basil White, was here. And I forgot he was getting older. And as he got older, he eventually said to me, well, you take it on and you'll make it look good. So I actually went on and uh, have now put trees and all the good bits in. And at the beginning, me and him followed a few old fashioned breeds. And so now we've proven the families. We've got, well, I think this year, a really potential great horses. And this is the first real year. And after doing a few courses, I've realised that I don't know as much as I did about breeding until I met Alistair Nichols. And Alistair Nichols and me sit down every year for about uh, three months deciding on what we're going to breed the following year. And then we all get back as a team. And once we've got the team together, we decide which ones we're going to go to. Initially, we purchased her mother, which was foreign language. And foreign language had been a winner herself. And we paid what I thought was good money at the time. Uh, so you could tell after after about five to ten years of doing this, you can see if something's starting to breed something special. She didn't. Fortunately, she did have a green desert uh, uh, mare, which is we know now is Desert Berry. And Desert Berry went on to win. Unfortunately, that's a little injury. So we had to retire her, but she went on from there. And we kept that bloodline going with Binch and Binary and all and Proviso and everything. It all came back in. And she's she's great cross for certain um, Galileo type stallions. I must admit, Desert Crown is a different one. He's had two runs, so the excitement is the first run, really. When he saw the first one, he thought, hmm, shows a little bit like his, his family, which they hold right back. And if you produce them at the end, they've got a change of speed. So that was fantastic. I thought that confirms. And then, of course, at the Dante, he looked a bit special. But that's great training and great horse handling. I did appreciate that when I saw that, because I did go and watch him in the ring that day. And that was lovely to see. And he is a beautiful looking horse. Wherever anybody says, you'd show him in hand if you could. Um, but it's amazing. Well, he's with the right trainer, isn't he? I mean, the trainer has got time and patience. And that's the type of breeding we're doing. We're not breeding sprinters. So we've gone for classics if we can or you know, anything anything over seven to a mile and going further along. So that we're going long term. Is it, we're in we're into the end, put it that way. And we've got time. And Nathaniel's not been as sexy as he should be, although he is a well bred horse, a bit of a wonderful female line, which has got has gone to prove so he's shown that he can produce uh, good horses anyway in Nabel. But if you look at his colts, they're really quite successful really. Then they've just not got one to click yet. Uh, but his, his female line was a, is the best of the Galileo. Galileo you wanted anyway on the, on the green desert side, but uh, his female line came in again. So that's what's really made him the perfect horse for us. Well, we can pay next year's wages when we sell a horse. That's the priority because we sell horses. But uh, no, it's just, it's the ultimate, isn't it? To breed a, a horse, well, a horse that can win the Dante is an ultimate for me, but uh, the Derby's a different game. We've got a lot of tactics in the derby and uh, whether that suits his, because he is a flowing horse, is a wonderful horse and uh, I should be closing my eyes in the last two furlongs because that's the only thing I can do, I can't help anymore. Everybody here is obviously excited, they're going to Epsom, uh, I'm sitting at home with daughter because she can't go, so, and also it's safer for me because I might get too excited, I might even buy a bottle of champagne.